Neuroplasticity. You hear the term very often these days from smartphone apps, learning centers, rehabilitation centers, and even through athletic performance. But what does the term really mean? Well, let's keep things simple. If you break down the term neuro, means nervous system, which consists of the brain, spinal cord, and all the nerves that send and receive information to and from the brain. And plasticity, which comes from the Greek word plastos, meaning moldable. So together, neuroplasticity means a moldable brain. Originally introduced by an Italian psychiatrist by the name of Ernesto Lugaro in 1906, the term neuroplasticity was a way to describe how the brain can change throughout life to adapt, learn, and even recover from brain injury. But this wasn't the first time that the concept of neuroplasticity was described. You may be familiar with the famous experiment in 1904 conducted by a Russian psychologist, Ivan Pavlov. Professor Pavlov was able to essentially rewire the brains of his dogs to salivate at the ringing of a bell. He did this by repetitively ringing a bell every single time their food was presented to them. You probably have personal experience with neuroplasticity and don't even know it. As a matter of fact, every time we learn something new, we are harnessing the power of neuronal plasticity. You may remember when you were back in grade school, your teacher told you at the end of the week you were going to have a quiz on all 50 capitals of the United States. At the time, you probably could recall two, maybe three of the capitals of the United States, but how are you going to learn all 50? The chances are you probably went home and sat down with your parents and created a deck of flashcards with the state on one side and the capital of the state on the opposite side. You probably looked at the state and then read the capital. You did this over and over and over again until you were able to call the capital as soon as you saw the name of the state. So what do you and Pavlov's dogs have in common? Each of you have both experienced the benefits of neuroplasticity. You are both exposed to a stimulus accurately with enough repetition and intensity to rewire brain function. So essentially, neuroplasticity can be considered as learning. And what's the expression? An old dog can always learn new tricks. Neuroplasticity takes place every single day of our life, regardless of our age or health. As long as you're alive, your brain will make new connections and you can increase its performance and health. Neuroplasticity doesn't just apply to cognitive skills, it also applies to physical skills. Don't believe us? Do you remember the first time you tried to ride a bicycle? You may have attempted to ride a bike with training wheels, then once you had practiced enough, you may have removed the training wheels and then were able to ride the bike. The process of learning to ride a bike is a physical process, and just like learning information, it requires repetition and intensity. While you may have already been familiar with the applications of neuroplasticity, often people are not familiar with the new applications of neuroplasticity in healthcare. Plasticity Brain Centers is one of the leading providers of neurorehabilitation in the world, embracing a receptor-based model of neurological rehabilitation. By performing a comprehensive neurological assessment, they are able to identify either injured or simply inefficient networks in your brain. Then, by introducing specific sensory information with repetition and intensity over a five-day program, they've been able to increase function, increase efficiency, and literally rewire the brains of children, seniors, people with neurological injuries, and even high-performance athletes. So if you want more information, give us a call at Plasticity Brain Centers and find out how we can unleash your brain's potential.